This is Gary Kennebrew for Audio Plugin Deals, and we're checking out Sonable's Unmask. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when the good deals show up. Unmask creates frequency separation by using a host file and side chaining a source into that host file to create a ducking effect. Let's take a look at the interface. So what I have here is two pads that are sharing some of the same frequency space. And what I want to do is send one pad into the other pad, which is going to let me select a frequency range and a speed, as well as a um, unmasking amount so that we can actually control the ducking effect. We have it set up as a side chain, and that's indicated at the top here. There's a number of algorithms that Unmask comes with. Universal kind of covers everything like a catch-all, and you've got speech, vocals, guitar, bass, kick, drums. And each algorithm has a certain frequency range and a speed at which it can automatically duck. But you can manage those settings on your own. Using the Universal algorithm, you can see that the top frequency is the source coming in, and you can see that the bottom frequency is the host. As I increase the amount of masking, which is the big circle, you can see the waveforms at the top starting to push down and that reduces the volume of the waveforms on the bottom. There's a speed control. The speed control lets you determine how fast it's actually going to duck down. You have a resolution setting, which is low, medium, and high, which is the width of the frequencies that are going to be squeezing or unmasking. You also have a range, which is the lowest and the highest frequencies that will be included in the masking effect. You can also bypass the plugin by the switch at the bottom. In this example, I have two percussive xylophone marimba type sounds, and I'm creating a bit of masking. This time I'm doing it with specific frequency targeting. So if you take a look at the bottom EQ here, right around the 300 Hertz range, you will see the ducking effect as I increase the unmask. Now keep in mind, unmasking is really a subtle effect. But what it does is it makes room for your frequencies so that all the instruments and all the tracks that you have can actually be heard. Let's check out one more scenario. In this circumstance, I'm pushing the bass into the drums. The goal here is to get a middle tone sound so that the bass cuts through even on small speakers. Here's what we got set up. We've got pure unmask set up as the host is the drums and the bass is pushing into the drums. This is what it sounds like, and I'll gradually increase so you can hear what the effect of the masking does. So that lets me get that mid-tone Instead of the bass being so rich, I can get a mid-tone in the bass and allow it to cut through in the mix. Sonable's Pure Unmask is a good go-to plugin. Unmask comes with all the right algorithms, including a universal algorithm, as well as everything that you need to do quick unmasking just simply by using side chaining. I suggest you check it out at Audio Plugin Deals. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when the good deals show up. This is Gary Kinney Brew for Audio Plugin Deals.